Are you considering Kinneret injections as a treatment option? Look no further. In this ultimate guide, we will take you through everything you need to know about Kinneret injections, from how they work to their benefits and side effects. Kinneret injections are a medication used to treat inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis. They work by blocking a protein called interleukin-1, Illinois-1, which plays a key role in inflammation and pain. By targeting Illinois-1, Kinneret injections can help reduce joint swelling, pain, and stiffness, providing much-needed relief for those living with chronic inflammatory diseases. But what are the benefits of Kinneret injections? Besides reducing inflammation, these injections can also improve mobility, help prevent joint damage, and enhance overall quality of life. However, it's important to note that like any medication, Kinneret injections may also have side effects. Common side effects include injection site reactions, headaches, and flu-like symptoms. In this comprehensive guide, we will delve deeper into how Kinneret injections work, explore their potential benefits, and discuss the possible side effects you should be aware of. So, let's get started on your journey to understanding Kinneret injections inside and out. How do Kinneret injections work? Kinneret injections work by targeting interleukin-1, Illinois-1, a protein that plays a crucial role in the inflammatory response. IL-1 is responsible for activating various inflammatory pathways in the body, leading to pain, swelling, and stiffness in the joints. By blocking Illinois-1, Kinneret injections help reduce inflammation and alleviate the symptoms associated with inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis. When injected, Kinneret binds to IL-1 receptors, preventing IL-1 from attaching to them and triggering an inflammatory response. This inhibition of IL-1 activity helps to dampen the inflammatory cascade and provide relief from joint pain and swelling. Kinneret injections are typically administered subcutaneously, meaning they are injected just below the skin, usually in the thigh or abdomen. It's important to note that Kinneret injections are not a cure for inflammatory conditions, but rather a treatment option aimed at managing the symptoms and slowing down the progression of the disease. Regular and consistent use of Kinneret injections as prescribed by a healthcare professional is essential for optimal results. Benefits of Kinneret Injections Kinneret injections offer several benefits for individuals suffering from inflammatory conditions. The primary benefit is the reduction of inflammation, which can lead to decreased joint pain, swelling, and stiffness. By targeting Illinois 1, Kinneret injections help to interrupt the inflammatory cascade, providing relief and improving overall joint function. Moreover, Kinneret injections have been shown to improve mobility and physical function in individuals with inflammatory conditions. By reducing inflammation and pain, these injections enable individuals to engage in daily activities with greater ease and comfort. Improved mobility can have a significant impact on quality of life, allowing individuals to maintain independence and participate in activities they enjoy. In addition, Kinneret injections have been found to help prevent joint damage associated with chronic inflammation. By reducing inflammation and addressing the underlying cause of joint destruction, these injections can potentially slow down the progression of diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, preserving joint function and structure. It's important to note that the benefits of Kinneret injections may vary from person to person. Some individuals may experience significant improvements in their symptoms, while others may notice more modest changes. The effectiveness of Kinneret injections can depend on various factors, including the severity of the condition, individual response to treatment, and adherence to the prescribed regimen. Common conditions treated with Kinneret injections. Kinneret injections are primarily used to treat inflammatory conditions, with rheumatoid arthritis being the most common indication. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease characterized by chronic inflammation in the joints, leading to joint pain, swelling, and stiffness. Kinneret injections help manage the symptoms associated with rheumatoid arthritis and may slow down the progression of the disease. In addition to rheumatoid arthritis, Kinneret injections may also be prescribed for other inflammatory conditions such as Juvenile idiopathic arthritis, jaw Jaw is a chronic inflammatory disease that affects children and adolescents. Kinneret injections can help reduce symptoms and improve quality of life in young individuals with jaw. Stills disease Stills disease is a rare systemic auto-inflammatory disorder characterized by persistent high fevers, joint pain, and rash. Kinneret injections may be used to manage symptoms and control disease activity in individuals with Stills disease. Cryopyrin-associated periodic syndromes, CAPS. CAPS are a group of rare auto-inflammatory diseases caused by mutations in the NLRP3 gene. 
Kinneret injections can help alleviate symptoms and improve quality of life in individuals with CAPS. It's important to consult with a healthcare professional to determine whether Kinneret injections are an appropriate treatment option for your specific condition. Potential Side Effects of Kinneret Injections Like any medication, Kinneret injections may cause side effects in some individuals. Although these side effects are generally well tolerated, it's important to be aware of them and seek medical attention if they persist or worsen. Common side effects of Kinneret injections include Injection site reactions Redness, swelling, pain, or itching at the injection site are common side effects of Kinneret injections. These reactions are usually mild and resolve on their own within a few days. Applying a cold compress to the injection site before and after the injection may help reduce the occurrence of these reactions. Headaches Some individuals may experience headaches as a side effect of Kinneret injections. These headaches are typically mild and transient, resolving on their own without intervention. If headaches become severe or persistent, it's advisable to consult with a healthcare professional. Flu-like symptoms Kinneret injections may cause flu-like symptoms such as fever, chills, fatigue, and muscle aches. These symptoms are usually temporary and subside within a few days. It's important to stay well hydrated, get plenty of rest, and inform your healthcare provider if these symptoms persist or worsen. It's important to note that the above side effects are not exhaustive, and individuals may experience other less common side effects. If you notice any unusual or severe side effects after taking Kinneret injections, it's crucial to seek medical attention promptly. Proper usage and administration of Kinneret injections. Proper usage and administration of Kinneret injections are essential for maximizing their effectiveness and minimizing the risk of side effects. Here are some important points to keep in mind when using Kinneret injections. Follow the prescribed dosage. Kinneret injections should be used as prescribed by a healthcare professional. The recommended dosage may vary depending on the specific condition being treated. It's important to adhere to the prescribed regimen and not exceed the recommended dosage. Store Kinneret properly. Kinneret injections should be stored in the refrigerator at a temperature between 36 degrees Fahrenheit and 46 degrees Fahrenheit, 2 degrees Celsius and 8 degrees Celsius. Do not freeze the medication. Keep the injections away from light and heat. If you are traveling, you can use a travel case specifically designed for medication storage to ensure proper temperature control. Prepare the injection site. Before administering the injection, clean the chosen site with an alcohol swab. Allow the skin to dry completely before proceeding with the injection. Avoid injecting into areas with active inflammation or infection. Rotate injection sites. To prevent injection site reactions, it's important to rotate the injection sites. Alternate between the left and right thigh or abdomen, injecting at least one inch away from the previous injection site. This rotation helps minimize the risk of local skin reactions. Follow proper injection technique. Follow the instructions provided by your healthcare professional for the correct injection technique. Ensure that the needle is inserted at the correct angle and depth. Slowly inject the medication and remove the needle at the same angle it was inserted. Dispose of used needles safely. Used needles should be disposed of in a puncture-proof container. Follow local regulations or consult with your healthcare provider for proper disposal methods. Do not reuse needles. It's important to consult with a healthcare professional for personalized instructions on the usage and administration of Kinneret injections. Precautions and contraindications for Kinneret injections. While Kinneret injections can be an effective treatment option for many individuals, there are certain precautions and contraindications to consider. It's important to discuss your medical history and any existing conditions with your healthcare provider before starting Kinneret injections. Here are some important precautions and contraindications to be aware of. Infections. Kinneret injections can suppress the immune system, making individuals more susceptible to infections. It's important to inform your healthcare provider if you have any existing infections or a history of recurrent infections. Kinneret injections should be used with caution in individuals with active infections. Allergies. If you have a known allergy to Kinneret or any of its components, it's important to inform your healthcare provider. Allergic reactions to Kinneret can be serious and may require immediate medical attention. Pregnancy and breastfeeding. The safety of Kinneret injections during pregnancy and breastfeeding has not been established. It's important to discuss the potential risks and benefits with your healthcare provider if you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant while using Kinneret injections. Similarly, if you are breastfeeding, it's important to consult with your healthcare provider regarding the use of Kinneret injections. Liver and kidney function. 
individuals with impaired liver or kidney function may require dose adjustments or close monitoring when using Kinneret injections. It's important to inform your healthcare provider of any pre-existing liver or kidney conditions. Other medications. Inform your healthcare provider about any medications, including over-the-counter drugs and supplements, that you are currently taking. Some medications may interact with Kinneret injections, potentially affecting their effectiveness or increasing the risk of side effects. It's crucial to have an open and honest discussion with your healthcare provider about any potential risks and benefits of using Kinneret injections based on your individual circumstances. Frequently asked questions about Kinneret injections. How long does it take for Kinneret injections to work? The onset of action of Kinneret injections may vary from person to person. Some individuals may start experiencing relief within a few weeks, while others may take longer to notice improvements. It's important to continue using Kinneret injections as prescribed and consult with your healthcare provider if you have any concerns about the effectiveness of the medication. Can Kinneret injections be self-administered? Yes, Kinneret injections can be self-administered once proper training and guidance are provided by a healthcare professional. Self-administration allows individuals to have more control over their treatment and convenience in terms of timing and location. However, it's important to follow the instructions provided by your healthcare provider and seek assistance if needed. Are there any long-term side effects of Kinneret injections? Long-term side effects of Kinneret injections are generally rare. However, some individuals may experience an increased risk of infections due to the immunosuppressive effects of the medication. Regular monitoring and communication with your healthcare provider can help mitigate potential risks and address any concerns. Can Kinneret injections be used in combination with other medications? In some cases, Kinneret injections may be used in combination with other medications to manage inflammatory conditions. Your healthcare provider will determine the most appropriate treatment plan for your specific condition and may adjust the dosage or timing of other medications accordingly. Can Kinneret injections be used for children? Kinneret injections have been approved for use in children with certain inflammatory conditions such as juvenile idiopathic arthritis, JA. The appropriate dosage and administration guidelines for children will be determined by a pediatric rheumatologist or healthcare provider specializing in pediatric care. It's important to consult with your healthcare provider for personalized answers to your specific questions and concerns regarding Kinneret injections. Alternative treatments to consider. While Kinneret injections can be highly effective for managing inflammatory conditions, there are alternative treatment options that individuals may consider. Some of these alternatives include Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs. NSAIDs are commonly used to reduce pain and inflammation associated with inflammatory conditions. They can be taken orally or applied topically and are available over the counter or by prescription. Disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, DMARDs. DMARDs are a class of medications that work to slow down the progression of inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis. They help reduce inflammation and prevent joint damage. Biologic therapies. Biologic therapies, similar to Kinneret injections, target specific proteins involved in the inflammatory response. These medications are typically administered via injection or infusion and can effectively manage symptoms and slow down disease progression. Physical therapy and exercise. Physical therapy and exercise can help improve joint mobility, strengthen muscles, and reduce pain associated with inflammatory conditions. These non-pharmacological approaches can be used in conjunction with medication to enhance overall treatment outcomes. Lifestyle modifications. Lifestyle modifications such as maintaining a healthy weight, eating a balanced diet, getting regular exercise, and managing stress can play a significant role in managing inflammatory conditions. These modifications can complement medication and improve overall health and well-being. It's important to discuss alternative treatment options with your healthcare provider to determine the most appropriate approach for your specific condition and individual needs. Conclusion, is Kinneret right for you? Kinneret injections are a valuable treatment option for individuals suffering from inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis. By targeting interleukin-1, Illinois-1, Kinneret injections help reduce inflammation, alleviate joint pain and swelling, and improve overall mobility. However, it's important to consider the potential side effects and individual factors before starting Kinneret injections. Consulting with a healthcare professional is essential for determining whether Kinneret injections are an appropriate treatment option for your specific condition. Your healthcare provider will consider various factors such as your medical history, current medications, and individual response to treatment to guide you in making an informed decision. Remember, 
Kinnert injections are just one piece of the puzzle in managing inflammatory conditions. Lifestyle modifications, alternative treatments, and a comprehensive care plan are integral to achieving optimal outcomes. Thanks for watching.